All right, let's spend a short moment on what we call an underlay cradle. These are cradles you typically don't see. They're not traditional cradles, but a cradle's a cradle's a cradle. Hand, head, knee, together, lock your hands, take him over, pin him. Here's situations that people are coming underneath your legs trying to duck out the back door, and we go into, well, an underlay cradle is, is when you're reaching underneath your leg and cradling the guy. Overlay cradle, underlay cradle. They're, they're, they're unique, they're different, but they're just as deadly, and they're just as basic as anything. Okay, the referee's position. Uh, this one's probably the most funky one of the, of the underlay cradles, but you get, you'll get the idea of it. It's out of flurries. It's when you get to be a decent cradle guy, you start getting into different positions, you start weaseling around, he keeps snaking, low single or whatever, he's ducking under the leg to come out. Okay, I've got leg hooked in back here and I'm riding the guy. I step up and I hook his leg up or arm up here. So I'm hooked in back here, I'm now stepping over his leg here. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna grab it and they're gonna start ducking under it. See, they did turn and start ducking ducking under so we can post up and come on out. Once he ducks under that, what I'm doing here is I'm going to reach underneath my leg here, underneath my leg, and lock it up. See, he voluntarily put his head under there, which brought his head close to his knee, and that was by design. They're taught to do that, and then to post up. As they're coming in here, I've got a lot of weight on his head here, keeping them from being able to post up. I'm gonna reach underneath my leg versus over. Over, you, you, there's no place to put it, you get caught here, but you got plenty of room when you're here on the under leg. And then you take him on over. You keep, keep your lock, but you've got kind of a screwy situation. You're under the leg. It feels a little weird, but it's just as good a cradle as any other cradle. So from a different angle, he's facing that way. Stepping in, hook in here, wrestling, fighting. You give him here, give him the leg. He's going to duck it. So as he ducked it, he, he bent his head underneath. So all I'm going to do is drop off under the leg and take him over. It's really kind of neat. Passive and aggressive, different setups. That's a passive setup. You hook it, he goes right in exactly what you want. Next thing we're going to do is a low single. And we're going from our feet. We're moving around. And he hits me on a low single. I turn my back. I'm going to high leg over like you would in freestyle. Turn high leg back over like you're going to do a crotch lift or something. As soon as you high leg back over, you sit down and you put the weight across the back of his neck with his leg. Here. I'm straight my leg. So as I come back over here, I'm reaching underneath my leg again. Because what he's gonna do here is he's gonna start balling up so he can come under, so he can post up, you know, and come up out of there. Okay, easy. Okay, from here, I reach under, lock my hands. Again, I'm underneath, I have no room to get in here over top of him to find a way to get in and lock my hands. But underneath the leg, it's really simple. And then take him right up over, forward roll. Okay, into it. So yeah, you can do it from riding, with hooked in, you can do it with a low single. How about if he does a high crotch and he cracks me down? Instead of changing off to a double, he cracks me down to my side. Once they get down to here, what they're doing is they're looking to, see what I'm doing? Here, leg up, duck under, and come up. But what am I doing with my head? Lift the leg up, duck, my head, and my nose, and my knee are together as I'm coming up. And that's what I'm looking forward to. He gets a high crotch on me here, boom. He starts crawling here. He can't change off the door, but it cracks me down on the side. And I'm starting to swing here. He's trying to get to here. He gets under here. As soon as he gets under here, he's ducked his head under. Under your leg. Okay? Under your leg. Lock your hands. Now I'm having a hard time reaching this right now, so I'm fortunate I'm going to do the finger roll. I don't have the luxury of doing a butterfly grip. Okay, I'm lucky to get my fingers locked here. But I got them locked. Matches about the end. Okay. So let me go to you. I'm gonna crack down here. I'm in here. I start cracking it down. As soon as I get him down, I start to sit under here and duck. And from here, he reaches underneath his leg here, locks it up. You know, I'm trying to get up a come. So the same type of thing. If I'm riding legs and he sits and he gets under the leg and starts coming under the leg as one of the counters to legs. I have a leg in, I'm riding, and he pops me down the side here. And I'm trying to hang on the crab rider, hang on. He gets there. I'm hooking in here. I'm not supposed to be doing this when I'm doing leg back. But look where his head is in relation to his knee. He ducked under. I have my leg hooked here, so he can't take his leg back. And he's ducking under there and ready to post up. From there, under, lock my hands. 
So, again, right here, the legs in. We sat down, no fight in here. Hang it on. You can, you can side there. It's ready to post up. Under, leg cradle, lock your hands. Now, they're kind of crazy. You look at them and go, well, that's just a little bit too much for me. You know, that type of cradle. But, but they're everywhere. Again, what I'm trying to do in the next hour between the near cradles, far cradles, and clamp cradle series I'm going to show you, what you're going to see is there's cradles everywhere. And are you going to memorize 10% of these, 200% of these? No. But you're going to say, hey, I never realized there were that many cradles. I can save myself from any position if I just start thinking about cradles. Get your hands locked, taking them on over, legal discomfort, and we terminate the match. Remember, terminal takedowns. That's what we're going to be drilling here. Terminal rides, terminal reversals. That's what we're doing. Cradles are all about. There you have the underlay cradle series.